Bellor, you have lost. The circle is complete. <laughs> no, Bellor, no! <laughs> the Nidus, source of all my powers, has split into five parts. Bellor will be seeking the pieces too. We must find them before she does. You will see them only in reflection. One piece is ours, and Helen wears it on her necklace. Find the other four pieces of the Nidus, and bring them to me. Let's go back and see. You can, not me. Look, there's a light down there. Perhaps if we go there, we can find out where we are. I'd rather do that. On you go. I'll check up on that Indian. Be careful, Phil. I will, don't worry. <laughs> Could I come in and have a powwow with you? No. Why not? Door locked. Standing bison held hostage by white men for good behavior of other Indians. Why you? Standing bison, very important medicine man. You mean standing bison is Rothko? Who Rothko? He's the heat biggest medicine man around. And you're him. Rothko, not Indian name. That's because Rothko isn't usually an Indian. No medicine greater than Red Man's medicine. Look, all you need to do is point at the door and it'll open. Didn't work. Door not open. God's not want door open. <sighs> Rothko. you sprang from? Back there. How did you get back in there? We, uh... The Holy Brothers quit the women and children. That's unpardonable, Jim. Oh, but understandable, baby. Over the last few days, a lot of folk have come to the Alamo Mission to be gathered together and taken to safety. But if they get two children, Jim? Ah, there were orphans in the mission. What are your names? I'm Helen. And I'm Terry. This gentleman here is Senator Davy Crockett. Davy Crockett? Uh-huh. Where's your coonskin hat? I changed that for this one a long time ago. Now, this here is my friend, Colonel Jim Bowie. Jim Bowie? You heard of me? The Bowie knife. <laughs> I don't suppose you changed that for any fancy clothes, eh, Jim? Excuse me, sir. Another stray, Colonel Jim. More. Howdy, ma'am. My respects, ma'am. Good day to you, gentlemen. Ma'am, the wagon train for San Yakins who pulled out of here at sundown yesterday. I only just found out about the danger. I've been homesteading on my own some 25 miles due northeast of here. 
Since my good ma'am was killed by engines some two years back. Well, ma'am, we gotta get you and these youngsters out of here in three hours. Because General Santa Ana's army, 5,000 strong, has given us till sundown to surrender. There's 187 of us, and it'll be a fight to the death. There won't be no fight, Jim. That's why I came here this morning. To negotiate a peaceful settlement with Santa Ana. <laughs> Davy, he sees our breaking away to set up a Republican's rebellion. Santa Ana won't parley. I've been in politics most of my life, Jim. I reckon he'll come to terms. I don't know that he will. As part of Mexico declaring Texas a republic is mighty sour applejack for him to swallow. I thought Texas was one of the United States. <laughs> How old are you, son? Fourteen, sir. And you think that Texas is one of the United American States? Yes, sir. Then allow me, young man, to straighten you out. Texas, having cast off the Mexican yoke, is now the Lone Star Republic. You're politicking again, Davy. Forgive me for saying, but I'm a mind hungry. Are there any vittles to hand so I can rustle up some chow? Ah, that's a good idea, man. Where's the kitchen? Along there. Girl, you come along with me and lend a hand. Yes, ma'am. Although you probably won't be here for the signing, young man, you can always say that you were at the Alamo Mission on the 24th day of February in the year of our Lord, 1836. Mexico recognize the sovereignty of Texas. I hope you're right there, Davy. I surely do. Those bones are no good. They can't get you out of there. God's not one standing bison out of here. All right. Ask your bones where the Nidus is. Manic Wogan! They're the same shape as before. That's the only way they're falling. Gods want them to fall like that. The shape looks a bit like a knife. Anyone got a knife here? Colonel Bowie. He have knife. Bowie? Bowie knife? Is Jim Bowie here? Hmm. I his prisoner. Maybe the Nidus is in his knife. Oh, come on, Rotho. Get yourself out of there. Gods not want me out. Forget Red Man's medicine. You're Rothko. Time is short for Red Man. I, standing by, and see this. Must keep Red Man's medicine alive. Teach our children. Pass on stories of great ones. Red Man's medicine comes from the earth. Trees in the forest, rivers, grass plains. Our ways are sacred, must not be lost. Light the fire, child. Yes, ma'am. I deny you that, child. I deny you the nidus. <laughs> How can I convince you? All you need to do is point your finger like that at the door, and it'll open. Like that, you mean? Put a bit of zap in it. <clears throat> That's it. Here. Hmm. White man's medicine no good. Oh, it should have worked. Helen's got the piece of nidus. So one of us must be able to open a door. I'll be back. What you doing, my little bucko? Santa Ana's messenger should be here by now. How much time we got left? Just about enough. And what if he don't show, Davy? What's this, Andy? Found him skulking around the engine cell, Colonel Jim. Escaped slave, son? Slave? Well, he can help out. Looks fit enough. This is a day of battle and destruction. A day I shall enjoy. Oh, 
the smell of that, you tricked up a real treat, man. There are plates, knives, and forks in there, son. Good man, Terry. The Indian's Rothko. What? The Nidus. I think it's in Bowie's knife. <laughs> Knife for me, Terry. I use my own. Mexican commandant, he's back, Colonel Jim. Send him in, Andy. What did the general say? For you to lay down your arms. I told you so, Davy. The Alamo is surrounded, and you are outnumbered at least 30 to 1. Be a mighty fine turkey shoot. General Santa Anna does not want unnecessary bloodshed. Well, there's this woman, the boy, the young girl, and the darkie here in the mission. Will you grant them safe conduct if they leave at once? Well, that is a decision for General Santa Anna to make. My orders were to tell you to surrender now, with no conditions, or you will all die. Please escort me to your general. As a member of the Senate, I want to talk to him. You're wasting your time, Davy, and risking your life. I have to try, Jim. You have my word, as a Mexican officer, that your flag of truce will be respected. <clears throat> right. Let's go, Commandante. Mighty sorry about the vittles, ma'am. Well, boy, we're gonna need you. Can you shoot? No, sir. We'll find something for you to do. But the food, Colonel. Ma'am, this ain't exactly the time for jam. You eat now. You won't have time later. I guess you're right. Sure smells good. Sit yourselves down. the neck. Boy, get some water. Terry, get the food out the way. How did you get out of that cell? Red man's medicine very powerful. Ma'am, he's been stung by a scorpion. You better try some of your medicine on her. No, not him. Send him away. She's Bello. Where's Helen? She went to the kitchen with... I'm gonna have to get that poison out of there. I mean, using the knife. Not the knife! I'll be as gentle as I can, ma'am. Oh! <gasps> Bellow's done this to her. Wake up, Helen. Phil, the piece of Nidus is gone. Oh, no. We need Rothko. Grab the other. Now then, concentrate. Rothko. 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 I hear you. I hear you. What is it, children? I see. Helen has lost the first piece of the nidus. Bello must have put her in this trance. Awaken, Helen. Awaken, I command it. Oh, Rothko, she seems such a nice old lady. I just didn't suspect. No blame attaches to you, child, but you must always be on your guard. As long as your will is strong, she cannot touch the nidus. Now then, have you found me in that time? Well, I think so, but he's denying that he's Rothko. Ah, uh, you. He calls himself Standing Bison. Oh, oh, oh yes. Yes, that is me, never fear. Then why does he keep saying he isn't? I'm afraid your Standing Bison is far too proud to acknowledge any magic but his own. But he is helping. You can be sure of that. With the red man's medicine? Oh, there are many ways to achieve the same ends. Now go. 
Helen is free from the spell. You must find the next piece of the Nidus before Bellow does. And trust your Indian friend. I'll ask him to let us look at it in front of Rothko. We'll see it reflected in something, and then zap, off it goes. Someone down there. Probably a soldier. He wasn't wearing what I'd call a uniform. There it is. How? How? Where's the lady, sir? Resting in one of the cells. Took her there myself. She's weak, but she'll recover. That's a fine knife you've got there, sir. None other like it in the world, son. Just plumb fell out of the sky. How could it do that, sir? Meteorite, missy. Hunk of meteorite that had fashion to this shape. And is harder and stronger than any metal known to man. May I hold it, sir? Oh, sure grieves me to disappoint you, Terry, but ever since the day it was shaped, no other humans touched it. The Nidus is in the knife. We must get it before the Mexicans attack. The Alamo is destroyed, you know. Where are you going? Stand in base and go call on powerful medicine of gods to defend Alamo. Hey, hang on there. Not gone long. Back like that. You three wait here. I'll just go and see how that poor woman is. Well, I asked him to help us, told him where the Nidus was, and he ignored me. It's all this red man's medicine stuff. But he's got the advantage over Bellor, and he's throwing it away. Now, ma'am, don't you worry about a thing. You're going to be just fine. What's that? Did you hear that scream? What you staying around for? We're back and keep it away together, right? Don't any of your move. And stock still. Ah! How could that happen? I ain't missed not once in 20 years. Give me the knife, boy. Sorry, Colonel. I forgot. You didn't take any of the magic away, son. I lost it with that throw. God say they help Colonel Bo E resist against Mexican army. I'm mighty obliged to them, Standing Bison, but I prefer to rely on solid defenses. And I check them myself. Standing Bison, go with you. If Senator Crockett comes back, tell him I won't belong. Yes, sir. Look, it's not the Nidus. The knife? No. There's no shiny reflection in Helen's eye. Well, back in the cell, every time Standing Bison threw down his bones, they took the same shape. What else would you say it looks like? Well, I've seen the shape before. Where? On a Christmas card. The Star of Bethlehem. You know, the one pointing down to the manger. What was it Davy Crockett said? The Lone Star. Where's Colonel Bowie? Checking on the defences, sir. He said he wouldn't be long. Right, now you three and the homesteader lady be ready to leave here as soon as you can. Senator, can we talk to you about the Lone Star Republic? No time for that now, young lady. Good old boy not here, sir. Hmm? No, is that wrong? No, sir. I just want to report that every man was in position on the walls. No, there's one in the tunnel back there. Well, it can't be, son. They're all accounted for. But we saw one in there. Now, to reach the mission walls, you'd have to come through here if no one has. You show me, son. I see you, Colonel. I'll pass on your message. Thank you, sir. I'll lead the way, son. How are we going to find the piece of Nidus, Phil? Well, no soldier here, son. But I saw one, I promise. Mm. What's this? An old well. The mission used to draw water from that years ago. Perhaps he's hiding in there. <laughs> now, why would he want to do that, son? I don't know. Listen. Long way down to hide. Colonel, have you seen Senator Crockett? He's back, is he? Very anxious to see you. Didn't work out, huh? From his man, I don't think so, sir. Reporting all our men in battle positions, Colonel Jim. Thank you, Andy. You checked the defenses. Ain't no way in for a Juneberg, let alone a Mexican. Huh. Yeah, well, youngster here says he saw one of our men down the tunnel back there, but uh, 
We checked it out, and there was no one. Hang on there. I saw one, too. When you screamed, Missy, who's was down by the cells, I told him to follow me, but it didn't. No one's been detailed to the cells, Colonel. He was there, Andy. I saw him. Now, where was yours, Terry? In the tunnel that leads to the old well. Now, there's another dried-up well in the tunnel beyond the cells. Where was source of water for these wells? That's at the mission. There's a water course runs right under the mission that supplied them. And where no more water flowed? The water course was sealed off. Where? I don't know. At the source, I guess. Mm. Outside mission where Mexicans are. You mean when we're fighting on the walls, they'll be using the water course to get into the mission? Red man's medicine solve white man's problem. Show me to the wells. What are you going to do now? You see. Now, this wasn't in Colonel Bowie's knife. We don't know where it is. Standing by, sir, no need of white man's medicine. I show you power of mine. You're going to block the wells and the water course? Mm. How? What with? Water. You should never underestimate a woman's power of recovery, Davy. Some of us got secret resources, Colonel. I got powers you never dreamed of. You feel strong enough to travel, ma'am? Fine, Senator, just fine. Yeah, well, we've got no time to lose, Jacob. The Indian was a scout. He'll be able to see you safely through the Mexican lines. When you're ready, ma'am. <laughs> Nice. You managed to fill in those wells? Gods fill both wells and water course. Alamo able to withstand long siege, Colonel Bowie. Great. I'm sending you with Standing Bison. You're to go to San Yaquinto and tell the governor the Alamo never surrendered. The Lone Star Republic will always remember the Alamo. Senator, just before we leave, will you explain the Lone Star to us? Yes, we got a minute or two. It's a piece of silver in the shape of a star. And it was found by an old prospector out there in the desert. He gave it to me when I was made senator. I had it with me always, although it rightly belongs to the Republic of Texas. May I hold it, please, Senator? You can do more than that, young lady. I'm going to entrust this to you to take to San Jacinto. It's beautiful. Yeah. But it's not the Nidus. No? No. Senator Crockett. Yeah? Time to begin journey. We can't. Not yet. Not without that. You must go now. It's almost sundown. Flaming arrow against this pale faced woman! Ah! Oh, Mr. Gamal, night us! It's back! Go now. And remember Alamo. You all right, ma'am? Come on, baby. Turkey shoots for them. You too, Red Man. But Rothko, once again you have dispatched your powers for this time. Standing bison die at the Alamo with all the rest. Then it is will of God.
Thank you.